Hello and welcome back. Some of my students ask me to upload some videos on linguistics. So I am going to start linguistic lessons with the definition of linguistics. So let's start. The topic of today is what is linguistics. Now look at this. This is the definition of linguistic. Linguistics often called the scientific study of language, the study of human capacity to communicate and organize thought using different tools. Now what is the primary purpose of linguistics? So the primary goal of linguistics is to understand nature of language in general by asking questions such as what distinguishes human language from other animal communication system means how we can differentiate human language from the other language or the other animal communication. Now let me discuss some definitions of linguistics given by different linguists. For example, look here number one, linguistic is the scientific study of human language given by John Lyons. Number two, linguistic theory was found by Noam Chomsky who described language as having a grammar that is largely independent of language use given by Noam Chomsky. Another definition like linguistic is the study of how people exchange meaning through language given by Halliday. And the last one is linguistics is the study of language and as the manifestation of human speech given by Ferdinand de Saussure who is considered the founder of modern linguists and semiology. So these are some, there are so many, but I have given three or four definitions given by very famous linguists. Now let me talk about the main areas of linguistics. For example, there are six main areas of linguistics or you can say microlinguistics. For example, number one, phonetics. The study of how speech sounds are made. Number two, phonology. Phonology that deals with the system of sound with a language and how these sounds are organized. So the organization of sounds is phonology. Number three, morphology. Morphology is, is the study of words, how they are formed and their relationship to other words in the same language or in short we can say a study of formation of words number four semantics semantics is the study of meaning themselves next is pragmatics pragmatics is what a speaker implies and a listener infers based on contributing factors like situational context in short it is the study of hidden or invisible meaning. The last one is syntax. How units of meaning come together to create utterances or sentences. Now move to the different branches of linguistics or macro linguistics. The first one was micro linguistics, which I told you there are six. This one, micro linguistics. And now I'm talking about Macro-linguistics. Macro-linguistics or interdisciplinary linguistics. Okay. Now look here. Number one, social linguistics. The study of language in relation to social factors. How language varies from situation to situation, group to group or place to place. This is social linguistics. Number two is psycholinguistics, the study of mental aspects of language and speech. This is psycholinguistics. Number three, neurolinguistics. It is the study of neuromechanism in the human brain that controls the comprehension, production, and acquisition of language. So this is the neurolinguistics. The next one is stylistics, the study of distinctive styles found in particular literary genres in works of individual writers. This is stylistics. Number five, geographical or dialect linguistics. The local or regional variations of a language or dialect is studied as the field of knowledge. That is geographical 
or dialect linguistics. The next one is computational linguistics. The branch of linguistics in which the techniques of computer science are applied to analyze of language and speech that is computational linguistics. The next one is contrastive linguistics. It is a branch of linguistic concerned with showing the differences and similarities. Differences and similarities in the structure of at least two languages or dialects. Two languages or dialects. So this is called contrastive linguistics. Then we have macro linguistics or intradisciplinary linguistics. Before this I discussed interdisciplinary. Now I am discussing intradisciplinary. Intradisciplinary linguistics. Number one is applied linguistics. Applied linguistics is the branch of linguistic concerns with practical application of language studies, for example, language teaching, translation, and speech therapy. Number two, theoretical linguistics. When the concern of theoretical linguistics is taken as referring to core or internal linguistics, it seems the study of the parts of the language system. Now move to number three, historical linguistics. Historical linguistics can involve looking at how language change over time. Move to number four. Number four is descriptive linguistics. It is the work of objectively analyzing and describing how language is used by a speech community. That is descriptive linguistics. Number five, comparative linguistics. The study of relationship or correspondence between two or more languages and the technique used to discover whether the languages have a common ancestor. So these are the different branches of linguistics. Now I will show you a complete chart of all the branches. Then you can easily understand. Look here. Number one, you can see that linguistics is divided into two groups. That is microlinguistics and macrolinguistics. In microlinguistics, we have phonetics, phonology, morphology, semantics, pragmatics, and syntax. In phonetics, we have articulatory, acoustic, and auditory. And in morphology, we have derivational and inflectional. On the other hand, next side, if you see macrolinguistics, this macrolinguistics is further divided into two groups. The first one is interdisciplinary. Number two is intradisciplinary. In interdisciplinary, we have seven categories like sociolinguistics, psycholinguistics, neurolinguistics, stylistics, cognitive linguistics, geographical linguistics, and computational linguistics. And second group is intradisciplinary. In this group, we have applied linguistics, theoretical linguistics, historical linguistics, descriptive linguistics, and comparative linguistics. So these are the different types of linguistics. You can say this is the family tree of linguistics. So I have mentioned here those are very common branches. So that's all. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.